I'm going to be doing a 7th grade makeup and I just uploaded the 6th grade makeup so check that out and first I'm going to be basically I just applied my moisturizer and it's the Dermer Seal moisturizer and now I'm going to be applying my primer <laughs> from e.l.f. and I'm just using this much basically not a lot and this primer costs six dollars and you could um check that out at your local um drugstore or like target or your local target or something or wherever they sell um elf but i just got that at elf and it works awesome and first i'm gonna moisturize my lips and you guys know the story about my yeah, it's lip balm, okay? Um, but yeah. Uh, sorry, it's so hard to... Sometimes I get really confused for that. But I don't even know what I'm talking about. So let's just go with the Natru Nature Lux Foundation. Because we're starting to grow a little bit pimples and stuff like that. And we want to cover those babies up. Because, you know, you, don't, you want flawless face like you did in... You won't fall his face like you did in sixth grade. Um, so we're trying to achieve that look. But I'm just getting my foundation brush and by e.l.f. And just basically jotting that on my face. And then I'm going to work it in to my face. Basically. But we're just doing that. You want a light coverage. You don't want like... Uh, you don't want like a oh foundation. You don't want a foundation. You want like a little moisturizer like this, like a BB cream, um, and all that good stuff. You you just want a like, wait. But I'm just trying to go a little bit fast because my camera won't let me upload this like in like 16 minutes. Like if this video takes 16 minutes, seriously. It would not let me upload it and I would waste my makeup and I did this for nothing. But I'm trying to go fast as I can. But then I'm going to get all the leftovers and put it down my neck just to um, not get a jaw, just get a foundation line. I think that's called a jaw little line, what I don't know. But I'm just trying to get even skin. Um, but basically that's how I do that. And then I'm just going to be taking my Elf Concealer, and this basically costs $2. And I already did a review on this, which I adore this, and you guys are starting to get um, dark circles in this grade. So we need that, and blemishes. I have a few blemishes, like, around here. Not too much, but I'm starting to get blemishes. That's why you need this concealer, but I recommend it to every and one of you guys. But I'm just putting that in with my finger, and I'm just, um, you know, just doing that. And all that good stuff. And sorry, my mom came in the room. And I'm using the concealer as a primer. Well, not a primer, just to even out my skin lid. My, my lid, just to even it out, not skin lid. Or am I weird? Uh, yeah, I think I am. But um, now I'm going to get my powder from e.l.f. And I'm going to get my um, e.l.f. powder also. And I'm in light beige. So I'm just going to put that all over and set my concealer. And just kind of mattify my face with all of that. I just I think this is really helpful just to lock in whatever you put in your face for it to stay all day and now i'm just taking my dream bouncy blush and this is in candy coral and we're just taking a little teeny tiny bit and the reason why i'm taking a cream blush is because i just think it stays longer and it doesn't like you know get all messy and stuff like that and i just think candy coral is the best color ever because you know it's just awesome it's just awesome. And sorry I'm talking too loud because, like, my family, like, when they speak, it sounds like they're screaming. So I really don't want you guys to hear that. But then I'm just going to be taking the um, cream eyeshadow. And I got this from Marquins. And I'm using this as my base, kind of like a base primer. And this is in pink. And I'm 
I'm just putting that in. Sorry for that noise. Like, I was choking on something. Because I was just eating turkey or something like that. Well, I was eating turkey. And, um, I was like... <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I'm just kind of using that as a primer because it's sticky and really good for that. And now I'm just going to be taking my CoverGirl eyeshadows and once in Toasted Almond, which is going on my crease, and once in Buttercream, which is going on on my lid and yeah so basically I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow brush from elf and it's a professional one and this is I believe one dollar I believe I think but you guys could order this online it's called elf just put elf cosmetics and then you'll see it and while that sunlight is beautiful and what the base it does it um kind of vibrant it's really vibrant and stuff like that so that's good and I'm just putting that on my brow bone and on my inner corner because we tend to look tired in the morning like you guys I like I get tired sorry I'm like going back just to get the eyeshadow but then I'm gonna be taking the other eyeshadow for my crease and I'm gonna be taking a elf C brush which um I really like that for the crease but I'm just gonna be taking my uh, eyeshadow brush again and put, just setting that in my like crease and then I'm gonna blend it out with the elf C brush so I'm just putting that directly on my crease nowhere else just directly on my crease because we want to uh we want to add just that finition in there just to shape it up a little bit but basically that's all I'm doing not too much just creating that soft look and you guys go over that just wipe it off or something like that but then I'm just gonna get my elf C brush and blend everything out um just to for like for the harsh lines like just to settle the eyeshadow and stuff like that and if you guys like kind of like um the the eyeshadow goes away like the white you guys can add that again just to make it more vibrant and I know I have my mirrors like backwards so um I'm just applying that on my inner corners again and everywhere but yeah so that's basically what I'm doing and now I'm just gonna take the same eyeliner that I did on sixth grade and doing the same thing that I did in that one so I'm just doing it on tip on the right there um inner corners waterline just to look like we're more awake cupid's bow cheekbones brow bone okay and we're just gonna blend everything really good and I think that's it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> um, but then I'm going to be taking the soft lips just to prep my lips for our... Whoa, it's like, look at that. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, just sorry. But we're just prepping our lips. And I forgot to get my lipstick. Am I so responsible? But I'm going to be taking my Rimmel London eyeliner and I'm going to be lining my lower lash, I mean my lash line, my upper lash line, just to give it, um, just to wave some smile. <laughs> and beautiful. But I'm just putting that on my lash line just to make it a little bit more fuller. And I'm sorry if I'm like doing it um really sloppy or something like that, but I really am bad on this. Okay, there we go. I think I did good. Um, but I just did that, and now I'm just gonna be curling my lashes with my elf curler and applying my same mascara as I did on the sixth grade, but a little bit more, and just to stand out, cause in sixth grade we don't want to stand out that much, cause we're a little bit too young in seventh grade you know that's when stuff just stuff changes and I'm putting that on my lower lash line 
and doing the same thing on the other eye and yes there's no edit because I just think that's I just want you guys to like focus on this because everyone wants to look good for the first day of school okay so I'm just doing that Oh my god, it's so quiet. I hate when that happens. Like, hello, speak. And I know I have it on the top of my nose. Um, and I think, oh yeah. And for the lips, I'm going to be using the eyeshadow, I mean, the, like, primer that I said it was a primer. And, I, and it's in pink, and it's in light pink. And I just thought this would be a good color for our lips. Just to give it a little bit of more color. Well, more color than sixth grade because I just think it's awesome and I love the light don't you and I just think that's awesome and it just gives that finishing touch but then we're gonna be um combing our eyebrows just to give it a little thing but usually I just wax my eyebrows for um school because you know I want to look good um but yeah um just give this um a thumbs up if you guys want my um, hairstyles, like, back to school hairstyles, because I have a lot, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this 7th grade makeup, and I'll be back with my 8th grade makeup, bye!